the Sony A6000. A mirrorless camera that came out over 10 years ago, and to this day, is still one of my favorite tools to use to document my life. What's good, y'all? Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Paul, and this is a Sony A6000. Like I said in the intro, this camera is over 10 years old. With its age and it being relatively outdated, it's still a really good camera with its decent autofocus, its pop-up flash, and also it's a usable viewfinder. Like I said, again, it's uh, over 10 years old. In terms of the specs, I don't want to get too detailed, but if you're interested, this is a 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. For stills, it shoots at 11 frames per second in burst. And then for video, it shoots in 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is pretty decent for uh, if you wanna shoot like talking headshots, YouTube videos. I wouldn't say this is the best vlogging camera, but if you do wanna vlog with it, it'll get the job done. I wanna note though that this does not have picture profiles. So if you wanna color grade the footage, um, you won't be really able to color grade that much. After having this camera for a while and have used newer camera technology or newer cameras, you could definitely see the age with this, but it's okay. There's a lot of things I still like about this camera. There's very few things that I don't like about it. I made a video about this camera over a year ago, and honestly, my thoughts are still pretty much the same. I still have the same opinion, but some of the things that I don't really like about this camera is um, the flip-up screen. It's only a uh, tilt-up screen, so if I want to shoot from a higher angle, I'm only able to angle it up like this, shoot from a lower angle. I'm only able to tilt it at about 90 degrees. So in terms of portraits, can't really uh, do anything like this if I do it vertical style portraits. Another thing I don't really like is just the uh, battery life. This camera still uses the old batteries, which is the NP FW50s, which uh, are the smaller batteries compared to the newer batteries that you see in the obviously the newer models. Um, so depending on how you shoot, uh, this usually only lasts me about maybe two hours of shooting if I'm shooting a lot. I wish I could shoot with this longer off of one battery, but I usually bring some spare batteries with me, which is not a big deal. But with that being said, some of the things I really do like about this camera is the fact that it does have a pop-up flash. I know on-camera flash isn't the most pleasant, but in the popularity or a rise of popularity of uh, digicams coming back, you know, the small digicams that are coming back, uh, I'm able to use this flash and still have pretty high quality photos. So I really, really enjoy that. Um, another thing that I really love about this camera is the fact that it's an interchangeable lens mount system. And if you guys know, Sony uses the Sony E-mount, which to this day, new lenses are coming out still. A lens that came out a month prior to me recording this video still goes on a 10 year old camera. And I love that. I get the perks of being able to use whatever lens that I want as long as it's still within the same Sony ecosystem. And the question that I want to answer that you probably click this video for is, is this 10 year old camera still worth it in the year 2024? And yes, it is. If you're able to get the camera body for a good price and pair with a good lens, I would say get it if you can. Being that this camera is as old as it is, I don't have the highest expectations for it. This is my run and gun everyday carry. My purpose as a photographer or my purpose for this camera is to document my life and the experiences that come along with it. I'm able to relive those memories just from the photos that I've taken with this thing. And that to me is worth it. You don't have to use this camera specifically. I personally just love this camera for what it is. If you're able to find it for a good price, I say go for it. If you are interested in getting this camera, I'll leave some links along with some affordable lens options that you could find online or you could find at your local camera shop. And if you already have this camera, let me know in the comments and uh, tell me your experiences and what you think about it because I would love to hear it. But with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. And if you did like this video, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. It does help the channel a lot. More videos will be coming soon, I promise. Please just be patient with me. Until next time, you guys know what time it is. It's Paul time. I'm out. Peace.